Is it in the genes? Or is that just a perfect excuse for the bad health many have? Let's roll the intro. Hi, Fee here, the healthy vegan author and creator of the Gold Card Vegan resource website. Have you heard someone say, it's in the genes? Especially when it's to do with one of the seemingly modern diseases. I'm talking about heart disease, type 2 diabetes and cancer. Well, here's my tuppence worth for that statement. Now, I know I have, and I'm sure you have heard people say one of the following. Uh, my dad died of a heart attack at 58. I'm getting near that age. Uh, I'll probably get high cholesterol because it's in the genes. Mum got bowel cancer and the doctor said, I've got a greater chance of getting it also. Yeah, diabetes, diabetes runs in my family. Even my own siblings are on medication for standard high blood pressure, cholesterol, or old people ailments, as one of them told me recently. Believing that what the doctors prescribe is okay is the only, and is the only way to keep healthy. Well, I'm here to say that it's in the genes is a myth for most people. These diseases like heart disease, high cholesterol, blood pressure, cancers, diabetes, and most modern day diseases don't run in the family. It runs in the tradition of what you eat. Most of us are brought up on animal products, meat, cheese, dairy, sausages, bacon, eggs. These are the norm. This is what your parents ate and even your grandparents. But definitely since the end of the 1940s when animal food started to become a lot more available. Yes, so did sugar, but I'm not dis discussing the harm of sugar at this point. I'm trying to say here that there is overwhelming scientific evidence that following what you've traditionally eaten will likely mean you'll follow the same health as those before you. However, if you make changes and follow healthy plant-based eating, you will reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease by 40%. Coronary heart disease risk is also reduced by 40% and blocked arteries are unblocked either partially or fully as in many as 90% of people who make the change. Hypertension risk drops by 34% and total cholesterol and low density lipoprotein or harmful cholesterol levels are much lower. Of course the bonus is that a plant-based diet is also associated with weight loss. Go figure. As for type 2 diabetes, studies from clinical trials reveal that a plant-based diet improves insulin, insulin resistance compared with conventional diets that people with diabetes are usually put on. So the next time someone says, it's in my genes or it runs in the family, you could by, respond by saying, actually, it's probably in your fridge meaning they should look at what they're putting into their mouth. Tradition and habit can be quite the stumbling block regarding making changes. Let's be honest, making changes for anything, not just food, and the older we get, the more difficult it is to make a change, the more ingrained our habits become, and sometimes we're our own worst enemy. But going plant-based can be just a matter of putting small changes into our foods, like adding berries daily or replacing a meat meal with a meal incorporating legumes. Think Mexican bean tacos or Chinese vegetable stir fry and rice and make it brown rice. Just know that the chance your health is down to your genes is statistically incredibly low, sadly. Most doctors don't even know that. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Remember to have great food. Make it plant-based and be compassionate to all animals, including humans. Bye for now.